Hello and welcome to another presentation using the AW139 Interactive Systems Trainer. We've already spoken about uh, these four systems here, the hydraulics, electrics, fuel and fire extinguishing systems. Today we're going to be speaking about the landing gear system. So clicking on the landing gear icon will take you to the landing gear worksheet. Again I've got a home button which takes you back to the home screen. A slide select button which brings up these information arrows. By clicking on the arrows, it will bring up further information on the system, either down here in the bottom left of the screen, or it'll take you to a new screen. Okay, I won't press on all of them. To declutter, you press the slide select button again, and now we can get into using the system. So over here, I have a speed box you can change the speed of the system from fast slow very slow and normal we'll leave it on normal for the time being now this is actually a pause button i'll demonstrate that a little bit later on in the presentation okay so uh, just a quick overview this is the the normal schematic diagram you'll find in the aw139 training notes what we have is a landing gear control valve which consists of the emergency valve valve one and valve two the nose landing gear and its servo, the left hand main landing gear which has two servos, the retraction and shortening. The right hand main landing gear is not depicted in this schematic, however it acts, it works very similar to the left hand main landing gear. Landing gear control valve, you can see here we're currently on the ground. On the ground there's a lever lock which prevents you from moving the landing gear lever from the down position. Once you take off, the lever lock uh, disconnects and you can now select the gear up. You see this is the configuration of the system with the gear down. The red depicts the hydraulic pressure, the green is the hydraulic return lines. Uh, the gear's down and locked, these pins uh, indicate it's locked. And to raise the gear, we just press on the landing gear lever. It moves to the up position and the system will retract the gear. Okay, so you can see it's fully working, the gear is now retracted. Uh, you'll see when the gear is retracted, the only thing holding the gear up is hydraulic pressure. Uh, what happened, these uh, valve one and valve two moved to the right, so the hydraulic lines were, were switched. Instead of being straight through here, they were crossed which fed hydraulic pressure through the line into this side of the hydraulic servos and pushed the piston uh, back up and retracted the gear. Okay, when you're flying around in the, uh, with the gear up, obviously you can, go, you can have a number of landing gear failures. I demonstrate one here. Uh, you press the gear failure button and you'll see you lose hydraulic pressure in the system. You'll also notice this SP hide button came uh, appeared on the screen, that's just special hydraulics. If you click on this button, it'll take you to the hydraulics page and I can demonstrate uh, what may have caused the, the fault here. So what we're looking at is a leak on the number two side, it's at the 50% level. At the 50% level, the system automatically closes the utility shutoff valve number two, which stops hydraulic pressure entering the normal side of the landing gear system. You'll note the number one side of the hydraulics uh, still has pressure to the emergency landing gear system. You'll also note that, uh, this uh, note down here, landing gear free falls due to lack of pressure. So under its own weight, the gear will, will fall. And this is the indication you will have on your landing gear control valve, uh, control panel, sorry. So if we go back to the landing gear, you'll see, okay, we have no hydraulic pressure on the number two side because the shutoff valve is closed. We still have hydraulic pressure on the number one side, although it's not fed into the system yet. Okay, we see the appropriate lights on the landing gear control panel. And as there's no pressure in the system, the gear is free falling. Now, this is just one of the emergencies that could cause the problem. Obviously, as the leak progresses in the hydraulic system to 28%, the shutoff valve reopens, so you'll get pressure back in your normal side, the gear will retract. The tie servo closes, 
If the leak progresses again, it closes the utility shutoff valve number two again. Again, the landing gear free falls, etc., etc. Um, another emergency that may cause the problem we're looking at at the moment is a two fall pump failure. So we have a total hydraulic failure on the number two side. Well, two pump failures, sorry, on the number two side. And there's no hydraulic pressure into the normal uh, landing gear. The emergency is still available on the number one. Okay, so in this situation, you pull out your emergency checklist. It would, uh, you'd go through the procedure. It would ask you to, or tell you to um, use the emergency down button. To do that, you lift the guard and you press the emergency down button. The emergency valve moves to the right. It introduces hydraulic pressure from the number one hydraulic system into the landing gear system and lowers the gear. Okay, so the gear's now down and locked. In this configuration, you can't select the gear back to the up position. And that can only be reset on the ground. And when you do land, if you want a taxi, you'll have to reselect this button to be able to unlock your nose landing gear. Okay, again, you can't reset this in the aircraft, but in the system here, we just press reset and the gear will move back to the up position. Okay, and the gear is back up. Now to demonstrate the pause button, we select yes, put the landing gear down. Okay, you get this Excel message box. Okay, it's quite a rudimentary way to pause it, but it's, I can't think of any other way. But if we move this out of the way, we can now uh, explain what's, what's happened. Okay, so what has happened, we just put the gear down. The valve number two has moved to the left. Okay, instead of the lines being crossed, the hydraulic pressure now goes straight through this valve. You have hydraulic pressure coming down okay, to, the, to this side of the servo, and it's forcing the gear down. Okay, it's forcing the gear down. Now to continue the sequence, we just press OK. It moves out of the way. So what's happened now, the, okay, the nose landing gear is fully extended. The left-hand main landing gear retraction is fully extended. They're down and locked. We're still waiting for the shortening. So the valve number one has moved to the left. It's uncrossed the lines. The hydraulic pressure has changed sides. Okay, it's now entering this side of the hydraulic servo and it's pushing the piston back up. Uh, a few more iterations there. And now the gear um, has been fully retracted and is down and locked. Okay, you put your landing gear down. Obviously after you land, your lever lock will be back in place so you won't be able to select uh, the landing gear lever from the down position. Well, that completes the demonstration of the landing gear. That's the last system in my, in my trainer. So I have videos for the other four systems here on my channel. Feel free to go and have a look at those. And next I'll be speaking about the performance uh, charts that I've put into Excel. I have one for the AW139. I've got a bunch for the S92. And I'll show you all of those uh, in the next video. Thank you for listening.